What's up folks? Welcome back to Tactical Tortoise. Today I'm going to be running through a really quick tutorial on installing all of the requisite mods for Tabletop Simulator, as well as important workshop files that you'll need in order to play games of Warhammer 40k on TTS. Now as a little bit of background, Tabletop Simulator is essentially just a physics engine that uses a series of saved game files and mod files, so what we're going to be doing is installing a bunch of those in order to play games of 40k online. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is install a copy of Tabletop Simulator. You can get it off Steam. Usually it's about $20, but you can oftentimes get it for cheaper. Go ahead and purchase a copy of that and install it on your machine. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to this website. I'll have the URL for this included in the video description. And you can also find it if you go to uh, tts40k.com. That's the website for my online competitive series for Warhammer 40K. And that has all of the instructions for how to install this mod pack listed here. There's also a link to that same page. This is called the Battleforge Mod Compilation. And this has all of the army files that you're gonna need to import your models into tabletop simulator. Now I'm going to be assuming that we are on a Windows operating system, but this page also has instructions on how to manually install these from other operating systems like Mac OS and Linux. Once you're on this Battleford mod compilation website, you want to go down to the direct download link. Clicking on that will download a file called Battleford. This is a zip file, so you can open it in any extraction software, and that will give you a folder called Battleforged Mod Pack. Now, you can extract this folder either in its entirety, which will give you all of these files, which also includes files for a variety of Warhammer 40,000 adjacent games like Adeptus Titanicus and Kill Team. But if you just want the Warhammer 40,000 file, Files, you can go in and extract the specific files that you want. Like I said, these are basically just save games for Tabletop Simulator, so you don't necessarily need to extract all of them if you don't want them to. What I'm going to do is actually go into the Army Collections folder here, and I'm just going to be extracting the armies from this folder. Now, the location we're going to extract those to is in the Documents folder. Scroll down to My Games, and in there you will find Tabletop Simulator. You want to extract this into the Saves folder, so we're going to click OK. Those should extract, and if we go to that that folder, we will see that those files we just extracted are now in saves. Now, if we open up Tabletop Simulator, in order to access these files, we'll need to create a new game. So we can create a single player game. And what you should see is in the save and load folder here under the games menu, you'll find that all of these files that we just exported are now available in Tabletop Simulator. Now, these are simply the model files. So we get ourselves some nice looking renders of the models to use on the table, but we're still gonna need some additional downloads in order to actually play a full game. To get those, we're gonna have to visit the Steam Workshop. So under games in the workshop, tab, you can actually click on Browse, which will bring you directly to the community page for Tabletop Simulator on Steam. This is where a lot of community members create files and upload them into Steam for use by other players. The first one that we're going to need is called the FTC map base. I'll include a link specifically to this Steam Workshop page for this mod in the video description, but you can also find it by looking up FTC in the Tabletop Simulator Steam Workshop. What you want is the FTC competitive 40k 10e base. This is by Pants999, who's an incredible community member responsible for upkeeping a lot of these mods. And what this file is, is a fully featured tabletop that includes things like dice rollers and score sheets. Now just go here and click the subscribe button. I've already subscribed. And once you do that, you will find that it appears in your workshop folder after a couple seconds to download in Tabletop Simulator. So what we're going to do is load that in and we can see that now we're on this map base. Now I'm going to upload a second video discussing exactly how to use all of the features on this map base. From here, you can add maps on top of this by selecting your battlefield size, downloading a map from the Steam Workshop and selecting additive load from the workshop page. That's the way you get terrain from the Steam Workshop, and then you can load in models to use as your armies. Now, the other mod that I'm gonna suggest that you download is called Yellow Scribe, and what you're gonna want is another file by Pants999 called Yellow Scribe V2. The original Yellow Scribe file, while it looks the same, is actually defunct. That one no longer works, so you're gonna wanna subscribe to this file as well. Now, Yellow Scribe is a mod that allows you to copy roster files. These are generated by most army 
army builders for Warhammer 40,000 and import them as well as all of your model stats into your game. The way this works is fairly simple. If you have a roster file, which you can export from Battlescribe if you use Battlescribe, you can simply click and drag it into this website. This is yellowscribe.xyz. There's an old website, yellowscribe.com, but that one is also defunct. That goes to the old version of the mod that is no longer supported. Once you upload your roster here, it will spit out a code for you to paste the code into this field. You can also use new recruit. You can find this at newrecruit.eu. I'll put a link to this list builder down below in the video description as well. And this actually has a direct export option. If you go to export list, once you've created a list in new recruit, you can actually just click yellow scribe and it skips the step of having to export and re-import the roster file. It simply sends the roster file to yellow scribe by itself. That will spit you out a code as well. Highly recommend you do that. Just saves you an extra step. You'll paste that into this field here. After a couple seconds to load in your roster, it will come up with a list of all of the different models in your army. The way to create an army for this game is simply go into the folders that we just installed from the Battleforge mod pack and search for the ones that we want. So for example, we have Kato Sicarius here from the Space Marine Special Characters file. We also have some aggressors, which are in the Primaris Space Marine file, as well as a Dreadnought. Once we found all the models that we want to use in our army, we simply click the entry in the yellow scribe readout here and click on the model that we want to use for that. You can even double click these in order to associate a model with multiple profiles. Once we've done that for all of our models and all of these tables are green and you can verify which ones that they're associated with by mousing over them, click create army and it will automatically export all of your models. The benefit of doing it this way is that for the ease of you and your opponent, there's actually a little readout directly from their roster file that has all of that model's stats and abilities on them. You also get access using the numpad to some very cool scripting. For example, you can increase and decrease the number of wounds so everyone can see how damage they are. You can also project these little auras for when you want to measure for aura effects or deep strike screening. Pressing one on the numpad also brings up their full data sheet so you can see all of their special abilities too. Once you have this set up, simply select the entire army, click save object, give it a name that you'll remember hopefully. And then once we go into a game, we can go to the objects button in the toolbar, go to our saved objects and search for the army that we just created. Click on that and that allows you to spawn it in just by clicking anywhere on the table. And there you go. Now you have your army on the battlefield. If you've loaded in terrain, then you are all set to play. I'll be uploading some additional videos on how to use all of the different tools to play 40K most efficiently, but that is just about the basics. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions on launching Tabletop Simulator for Warhammer 40,000. Please come hang out in my community Discord. There's a link available in my link tree. We play Warhammer 40K and especially competitive events for Warhammer 40K all the time. And if you've got a couple extra bucks, I highly recommend you heading on over to the Patreon for TTS 40K that supports the Battleforge mod team that puts all of these mods together and supports the community. So huge shout out to them. They do the Lord's work and allow us all to play Warhammer 40K online for free. And with that, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. Thanks as well to everybody who supports me on Patreon at patreon.com slash tactical tortoise. Also YouTube channel members and all the people who subscribe on Twitch. All you people are great. We keep it classy folks and have happy gaming.